All right, everyone, as much as I wanted to like these new iMacs that Apple just announced, there are some things that kind of rub me the wrong way. Now, first of all, I own a 5K iMac. I love it. I have the M1 MacBook Pros. I've owned all of them, and I think the M1 MacBooks are awesome. I think the 5K iMacs are awesome, but these M1 iMacs are just so confusing to me, and I don't know. I guess I kind of had my hopes up, like kind of like crazy and there's all the tweets that i've been seeing about the m1 imax are positive tweets but i'm kind of saddened by them to be honest basically the leaks that we had before these m1 imax were you know it was going to be a much smaller bezel around the whole entire display and what we got was pretty much the exact opposite so these are the 24 inch imax so i envision quite possibly the 27 inch imax may actually end up being you know somewhat more bezel-less i'm not too sure but these are the 24 inch ones replacing the 21 and a half inch ones now my main problem with this is that the front of it is just not that good looking there's actually three different problems i have with it the front I'm just not that big of a fan of. First of all, they removed the black bezel around or the darkened bezel around the display in favor of this white bright bezel. That is like the exact opposite of what I wanted. I would have way rather had a black bezel, even if it's going to be the same amount of bezel amount. I would rather have a darkened bezel around it that kind of matches what the display looks like. If you look at the MacBooks, they all have black borders. They all have black bezels. When you look at the 5K iMac, same exact thing. No matter what configuration or color that you get of any MacBook, they're always with a dark bezel around it. For some reason, Apple went ahead and wanted the white bezel around the display. That makes absolutely no sense to me. It looks, it's the exact opposite of what I wanted. Anytime I get any iPhone or anything like that, you look at all the iPhones, there's no iPhones anymore that have that white bezel on the front. Even the iPhone SE 2s with the top and bottom bezels, they all have black ones. So I don't know why they went with white. It makes absolutely no sense to me. And they kept that same big border on the bottom. There's no Apple logo on it anymore, but I just can't believe they actually kept that there. When I first saw that, I was like, okay, this may actually be like a thing where they like first put it there, then they take it away during the intro. That didn't end up being the case. They actually kept it the whole entire time. And that is crazy to me that that actually ended up being the case. It just looks so crazy to me. And compared to my 2015 5K iMac, this new M1 iMac just doesn't look as good as my older one, which is so crazy. Now, on top of that, another big thing that I just can't believe they just did was that they removed the SD card on the back. One of the biggest advantages of owning any type of iMac or anything like that were the port selections behind this device. Unfortunately, it looks like Apple went ahead in favor of only the four USB Type-C ports on the back. You still have the Ethernet port on the charger, but you don't have an SD card slot on the back of this thing anymore. So you have to go full on dongle mode on all of your devices. And this is crazy to me. I really didn't want that. But even that I can somewhat get over. It's just more of an annoyance and this kind of puts the nail in the coffin that we may not get an SD card on our MacBooks anymore. Who knows? But the last thing that really kind of bothered me was the fact that they really hit on the thinness. You know, for me personally with my 5K iMac, the last thing I ever worried about was the thinness of this device. Even with MacBooks, I'm like kind of 50-50. Like if they want to make them thinner, like that kind of makes a little more bit more sense. I really don't want them to be thinner, just like I don't want iPhones to be thinner. I want them to be more powerful with bigger batteries. With iMacs, you know, they don't have batteries. You're going to plug them in, so it's totally fine. But the fact that that's kind of like a bragging thing, why does it have to be thinner? You know what I mean? You're going to put it on your desk and then you're going to forget about it. The original, the 5K iMacs are already so extremely thin. You look at any iMac, you know, the 21 and a half inch, even the ones before the 2012 ones, you know, those ones were thick, but they weren't like crazy big things. I'm glad they switched over to the smaller ones and the thinner ones at that. But I don't know, like, I just don't think it needed to be any thinner than what it already was. And the fact that that was somewhat of a bragging thing and the fact that, you know, they didn't change the front off too much. That is something that really did bother me. Now, I think the M1 iMacs are overall, I, I think, a good upgrade and a much needed one. You know, they have the M1 chip inside of it, better cameras and all that in different colors. But the front of it just looks like a watered down version of something that, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to me why they did that. The front of it is my number one complaint. The SD card is my number two complaint. And, you know, the thinness is like something that's kind of like an annoyance that Apple does all the time. But I just can't believe they did this, bro, to be honest. Now, I'm sure they'll sell a lot. I'm going to buy one anyway, but I just, I'm not really too big of a fan of them, to be honest. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything else to add, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else. I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Till then.